chapter 1, it's, uh, you know, why the gospel came. And then chapter 2, who the gospel came through. Chapter 3, who the gospel came to. And chapter 4, the child is born a son. Chapter 5, the child stands and walks. In chapter 6, the child runs. So it goes through and explains this so that a Christian can get a good balance in his life of knowing what the gospel is and what the gospel is not. And about understanding things that are wrong in people's minds about the purpose of the law. So in chapter 2, verse 19, talking about us being free from the law. We that are dead are no longer under the law because the law cannot touch a dead man. So we'll be looking at that in chapter 2. And to understand this, if you wanted to put it down just in like a, a one word to a chapter. So chapter 1 is about, well, it's, Paul is telling the truth about chapter 1, the gospel. And he's telling the truth in chapter 2 about the law. And he's telling the truth in chapter 3 about grace. And he's telling the truth about you and I being a son of God, an heir of God in chapter 4. And then he tells us in chapter 5, as children of God, how to grow. And so chapter 6, understanding that God is not mocked. And whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. So these things are greatly laid out throughout this book of Galatians. So here in chapter 1 of the book of Galatians, I will not dwell on every verse and every word, but I'll try to give you, and I love doing like overviews, you know, give you an idea, a picture. There's others who love to just go into a verse and just crack apart every word, and they can, I know one preacher, he spent so far six months on two verses in the book of Ephesians, chapter one, six months. Now, honey is good. Too much honey make you sick. There's a lot of verses in the Bible, and there's a lot of truth. And so we want to relate truth in other scriptures and light, because, you know, windows are, they let light into a dark room. And so you use other scriptures sometimes to let light into a dark room or to shine upon some scripture. So here, Paul, an apostle. Now you say, well, what is an apostle? Well, apostles are those who marry epistles. That's the wife of an apostle. Now, some people never get that. They think I'm joking, but, and I am. So there are epistles and there are apostles. They're, they're not the same. But some apostles wrote some epistles. But Paul was an uh, apostle. And uh, you can see there in your notes, and I will not always refer to the notes, but I'll be going through it, and then you can see some of these things. But you will probably need to know this about the apostle uh, on a test. I used to love to tell the t kids, you know, what you're going to have on a test for tomorrow or the next class. And they just love my teaching because I tell them the answers in advance. Well, that was the only way I could take, have people take my class. So it works. But now, an apostle, and you need to know these three things. Sent by Christ personally. Eyewitness of Christ after his resurrection. And so, signs and able to do signs and miracles. Now, so far, I, I don't think I can pass number two and three. But I do believe that I've been sent by God. But I am not an apostle. There are people today who claim to be apostles. They're lying. They're not apostles. It may sound good. makes them think, well, I'm way up there. You're way down here. Well, it's something to think about, I guess. But there's two great motivational truths that you'll see there in your notes under number three that he literally had Christians killed may have been a constant reminder of the injury caused, caused to Christ and the importance of getting the gospel to everyone. 
And also in chapter 12 of the book of Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, he talks about all the things that he was willing to do and go through for the cause of Christ. And the reason is, it makes the statement that the, um, he saw things. He said, I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. But such a one was caught up to the third heaven and saw things unspeakable. I've often wondered, what did he see? But he can't tell us, he said. And so instead of being lifted up with pride, God gave him a, a thorn in the flesh, lest he would be exalted above measure because of what he saw. But whatever it is, he saw. But when he, he came back after he had been stoned outside of the city of Lystra, man, there was no stopping the great apostle Paul. Nothing else ever mattered. All he wanted to do is win people to Christ, challenge people to serve the Lord because he saw some. But you know, one of his companions was a guy named Luke. Anybody know who wrote the book of Luke? Luke. He also continued that story into the book of Acts. And Acts tells us an awful lot about Paul and his missionary journeys. And I believe that Luke, who wrote also Luke chapter 16 that deals with the, um, what's the subject that